I was selfish in thinking that that wouldn't affect me in the grand scheme of things and when I grow older or how these small steps I'm taking in the wrong direction at one point I'm gonna be at the wrong destination are you gonna continuously immerse yourself in an environment where you'll probably make the wrong decision or are you gonna put yourself in a place where you'll make the best decision because even that even when if you're in the best of environments and you're making the best decisions you feel like there will be one moment where there'll be a lapse in judgment whatever that is whether that's going out and partying whether that's talking to someone you shouldn't be talking to whether that's doing wrong for whatever reason whether you're in an environment where that kind of just happened and you were there or whatever there's going to be that moment and how do you minimize and make those tough challenges because there are hurdles and those are challenges that you're going to face be at a very very minimum where it doesn't affect you and if you do and if you find yourself making those decisions what you need to understand is you need to give yourself that second chance and you need to hold yourself accountable and like follow that inner gut feeling that little voice whether that's your inner child or whether that's the best version of yourself and if you're spiritual you believe that we have both uh, a good angel and a bad devilish angel on both sides of our shoulders and who do you kind of want to align with right and the first step is being self-aware and i think we all have that self-awareness in us it's just up to us to follow that What is up, TDP family? It's your host, Adis. And on today's episode, I want to talk about the battle um, you have with yourself. Um, and I pray that everybody that's watching this overcomes that battle. And um, you know that it's never too late to be the best version of yourself. I recently went on a trip to San Diego and I was surrounded by my loved ones, my friends and family. Um, there, But there were so many moments where I kind of just sat there staring off into space knowing that the environment that i'm in would probably not promote the best version of myself um and i know a lot of people are going to think this is cheesy and it's going to sound really dumb but like a flower it grows in the place where there is nutrients where there is sunlight where there's water and I think the more we put ourselves in environments where it won't or it can't foster that growth within us, the worse we're going to be. And I think it's something that we it's often taboo to talk about because in this world, it's all about this feeling of having other people understand you. And we so desperately want to prove ourselves to people and we want to have a good time and, and stuff like that. But there was this moment where I kind of was in this wraparound balcony on the high, on, a, on this, the biggest high rise in all of San Diego in a beautiful apartment. Um, and I, I just prayed, I, I prayed that God lets me be the best version of myself. I make the best decisions and knock on what I did. And knock on wood, I'll continue to do that. But I, I saw this battle we we face, and I saw it with my friends and my family, and I saw it with myself. And I saw people on the losing end of that battle. And I saw people on the winning side of that battle. Um, but I realized that there needs to be a sense of humility, like where we know that we've made mistakes. And we'll probably continue to make mistakes. But what are you going to do to fix it, right? Are you going to continuously immerse yourself in an environment where you'll probably make the wrong decision? Or are you going to put yourself in a place where you'll make the best decision? Because even that, even when if you're in the best of environments and you're making the best decisions you feel like, there will be one moment where there'll be a lapse in judgment, whatever that is, whether that's going out and partying, whether that's talking to someone you shouldn't be talking to, whether that's 
doing wrong for whatever reason, whether you're in an environment where that kind of just happened and you were there or whatever, there's going to be that moment. And how do you minimize and make those tough challenges because there are hurdles and those are challenges that you're going to face be at a very, very minimum where it doesn't affect you. And if you do, and if you find yourself making those decisions, what you need to understand is you need to give yourself that second chance and you need to hold yourself accountable and like follow that inner gut feeling, that little voice, whether that's your inner child or whether that's the best version of yourself. And if you're spiritual, you believe that we have both uh, a good angel and a bad devilish angel on both sides of our shoulders. And who do you kind of want to align with? Right. And the first step is being self-aware. And I think we all have that self-awareness in us. It's just up to us to follow that. And I had a couple of conversations with people where I was so vulnerable and I was so truthful about my past and what I went through and, you know, the challenges that I faced within and the mistakes that I made and how much that weighed on myself and weighed on others. And I found myself feeling so free, not just because of the truth aspect, just because like I'm able to recognize those mental hurdles that I went through. And in the moment when I made those mistakes or I, I did something that I shouldn't be doing that for me, it was like life is short, whatever. Like it was this very selfish and I'm not saying you shouldn't be in a sense selfish to yourself because you kind of should to the best version of yourself. But I was selfish in thinking that that wouldn't affect me in the grand scheme of things and when I grow older or how these small steps I'm taking in the wrong direction, at one point I'm going to be at the wrong destination. I'm probably going to be somewhere where I shouldn't. And I found myself in this beautiful, you know, state of bliss where I was surrounded by, by the most beautiful sense of chaos where everybody's having a good time, but I still understood the direction and I still understood I probably shouldn't be here. I probably shouldn't be in this environment because I'm not ready. I'm not capable of being in this environment and thriving in a sense where I feel so comfortable about my journey and where I'm at that I could enjoy this right now. I found myself in so many pockets and, and moments where I was just kind of staring off into the skyline and looking at these little people that all have their own lives, their own tendencies and their own wrongdoing and their own stuff that they do good and this battle that they're all facing and finding myself as this like little speck in the in this universe of people, right? And knowing that I need to set myself up for success and how I do that is knowing that I'm not perfect. I'm going to make the wrong decisions. I'm going to be places where I probably shouldn't be, but rising to the occasion and kind of, you know, being a man. And I think that also can, it applies right into women too and doing the right thing as a woman, right? And, I think because we're so adaptive to our environments, we can make the best out of any situation or we can make the worst out of any situation, granted where you're at. Um, and I think for the longest time, I didn't give myself enough, you know, kind of rope to feel sorry for myself because I'm making the wrong decision. And I just, it was so hard on me. Like I made this decision and it kind of affected me so much, but it's good to, not be a sense of crazy in a sense where you're doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome, but also understanding that, okay, you've made these mistakes in your life. It's time to put your best foot forward and be in places where you can succeed and do the right thing. Because we give sometimes, although I didn't give myself enough rope, there were times where I gave myself too much rope to do the wrong thing. And I just want people to understand that the biggest battle we're going to face is, again, the battle with yourself. You're not competing with other people. You're competing with yourself. And I saw some of my friends and loved ones losing that battle with themselves and myself being on the losing end of that at many times before too. And I, I would reassure them that this isn't me preaching. This isn't me telling you that I'm better. 
I just don't want that for you because I know what you're going through and I went through it. It might be different. There might be parallels there, right? It might be different of, you know, I wouldn't do drugs. They might do drugs. I'm not saying that this is a actual, I'm giving you an example, but I might struggle with something else. It might be struggling with doing the right thing or the wrong thing and, and doing something that I probably shouldn't be doing, talking to the wrong person, uh, doing the wrong thing at the workplace, doing the wrong thing um, and not communicating with my loved ones in a way that fosters this healthy relationship with them. That's, to be honest, that's uh, the biggest thing for me is like communicating effectively and doing the right thing when it comes to this goal that I have. And, and instead of just speaking it to an, to existence, actually acting on it. And I think that's the biggest thing that I'm struggling with in life is, is really rising to the occasion and making something of, of myself. Whereas like, there are times where I wouldn't do things that would kind of help me go in the right direction. I would take a step back. Um, and I felt like this weekend kind of showed me that and showed me that I'm not ready to celebrate. I don't really have anything to celebrate yet. Maybe one day I will. And that means being loyal to myself and not immersing myself in an environment where I feel those things. And it's okay. And a lot of people will think, well, it's not that serious. These, It's not go out, enjoy your time, go to a restaurant, go to a bar. It's not that serious. It's one time you can go back and get back to the grind. But sometimes going and doing that, well, at least for me, will will kind of make me go five steps back. And will kind of, whether that's financially, whether that's making the wrong thing in that moment, whether that's doing something that affects my, that purity and that, that person that I'm working towards being, whatever it is, um, I just feel like we have to understand what the the uh, the opponent or the enemy is. And I think that's that enemy is being the worst version of yourself and not succumbing to societal pressures, peer pressure or whatever. Giving yourself that second chance in life where if you made those mistakes, give yourself the second chance, but make sure they don't happen again. And I've battled that so long. I've battled making the wrong decision and then giving myself that second chance but then doing it again. And then what? I'm going to give myself a third or fourth or fifth chance? No, now that's kind of just who you are. That's kind of in your character. And I don't think enough of us follow that inner voice. And I think we should because that inner voice is something that is different from person to person. But I think we all are drawn to doing good, doing right by people and doing right by yourself. Because you could be nice to the world. You could be the best human on this planet to other people. But until you're nice to yourself, that stuff doesn't matter, right? Because there will be a moment where you're not nice to that person. Or out of the 50 times you're nice to someone, you'll do something very wrong to a loved one, a, a friend. You might do wrong to them behind the scenes and they'll eat at you. And that will be kind of, attached to your character and the goal is for that never to happen and how you do that is healing on your own giving yourself a little bit of rope saying okay i'm human i'm making these mistakes but let me not ha let that happen again and there are many overarching i'm sorry it, the theme is being the best version of yourself but from that umbrella is a bunch of stuff not putting yourself in an environment where you can mess up right because if you're a numbers person the probability if you put yourself in this environment 30 times, at least one time you'll probably make the wrong decision. And I'm not just talking about going out, going out clubbing, going out to the restaurant, going drinking and stuff. It could be anything. It could be you just putting yourself in an environment where you're around someone that you shouldn't be around, um, talking to people you shouldn't be talking, being in the wrong friend group, whatever it is, you know what you shouldn't be doing. And if you do give yourself that second chance, which I encourage make sure you're putting yourself in the best position because that is going to affect you. And at one point you'll be taking these steps and hopefully they'll be in the right direction rather than the wrong. You don't want to look back and say, I could have done better because that's the biggest thing I'm scared of. Um, regret, regret at home, regret in my relationships Regret at the workplace, regret in my emotional stability, regret in my character and what I've done and who I've been in life. 
So although you should give yourself a second chance, make sure that that second chance is fruitful and make sure that you set yourself up to be the best version of yourself. And I hate to be super preachy and I hate to be this guy that is giving you advice when I'm not really taking it myself, but I've been taking that advice and I feel so, so good making the right decisions in the wrong environments, in the right decisions, in the right environments, and just doing what's right and doing what that inner child or what my parents would want me to do in that situation or saying no to that bad thing and wanting better for my friends and loved ones and always being that light. Because if you're dark, you're not going to give someone that needs light light because you're dark. You're in a dark place. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to preach any more than I, I, I already have, but I found myself, you know, standing on a balcony and having this weird moment. And I kind of, in that moment, I was like, oh, I hope no one looks at me right now because it's not that serious. I don't want to think I'm this, you know, staring off and really thinking when everybody's having a good time. And I did immerse myself in that environment and, and had a good time and made the best of it, you know, um, of what I thought a good time would be. But yeah, I didn't want to be that cringy guy that everyone's having a good time. And I'm just kind of staring here, holding my drink in my hand and wanting more out of life. Right. But I, I did, and I couldn't help that. And, um, I prayed, you know, I prayed to make the best decisions in life. I prayed to be the best version of myself. And I think that's so, so important. And we've talked about this on the podcast so many times, but watching Neela's podcast yesterday and understanding how to be kind to yourself, be good to yourself is so important. It made me think of so much and I need to put myself in environments and be around people and sometimes not be around people to make those, those very, very difficult decisions and, and, and overcome those mental hurdles because that's the point of life. You have nothing to prove to anybody. You have everything to prove to yourself. I love you so much. You can find us at The Dima Podcast on all platforms and at Neela Carey on all platforms. We love you all so, so much. TDP, we out.